Hello, my name is Andriana Plakos. My topic is about representations of MAN algebras and related stemming groups. MAN algebras appeared in the theory of semigroups groups as semigroup group algebras of completely zero simple semigroups. groups. Uh, they were immediately used for the study of representations of such semigroups. groups. An important input was made by Ponizovsky in the paper uh, by in the paper in 1975, where he established the cases when a finite zero simple semigroup is representations uh, is representation finite. Uh, the same as only has finitely many decomposable representations over an al algebraically closed field K, whose characteristics does not divide the order of uh, underlying group of its risk matrix presentation. He also considered the case of semigroups that are unions of mutually annihilating zero simple semigroups with common zero. The questions remain to what happens if the field is not algebra algebraically closed and when there is a representation type of such a semigroup is same, uh, the same as the decomposable representations of each dimension form a finite number of one parameter families. In this article, we give a complete answer to this question, also for the fields of characteristics that does not divide the order of the underlying groups. Of course, in the case of an algebraically closed field, uh, our criterion of finiteness uh, coincides with uh, that of Panizos. Actually, we obtain criteria of finiteness and tameness for all man algebras with semi-simple base even in a bit more wide context than they are considered uh, in uh, Clifford and Patterson paper. To prove this result, we establish a relation of models over MAN algebras with representations of valued graphs in the sense of Blob and Ringel. And in the algebraically closed case, they are just representations of givers in the sense of Gabriel. Uh, they, then we apply the criteria from this work. It follows from paper first uh, and can be easily checked directly that in all other cases, the man algebra M or the corresponding semigroup is a representation wild over the field K. And the same for every finitely generated K algebra as there is an exact function. Uh, and what and what mapping non isomorphic models to non isomorphic and indecomposable to idempossible. In, <clears throat> in this work, algebra means an associative algebra over a commutative ring K. We do not suppose that such an algebra is unital, but always suppose that models over such algebra are also K models and the multiplication B by elements uh, of the algebra is K bilinearia. We do not by a mod and mod A respectively the categories of left and right A models. By A1, we denote the algebra obtained from an algebra A by the for, uh, formal attachment of unit. Then the categories of A models and unital A1 models are equivalent. So A and B are Morita equivalent if and only if, uh, so are A1 and B1. We consider the elements from A1 as formal sums, lambda plus, plus A. And let's uh, give a definition. Let R be a K algebra and U be a homomorphism of R models. Define a multiplication of uh, uh, on home, uh, setting A by B is equal A mu B. The resulting ring uh, is called a man algebra and denoted by M. Uh, uh, we say that this man algebra is based on the algebra F. We denote by M1 uh, the algebra obtained from M by the formal attachment of unit. A man algebra M is said to be regular if the homomorphism U is von Neyman regular. Uh, there is a homomorphism theta from M to N such that mu theta M is equal to mu. Uh, for instance, uh, this is the case if R is one name on regular, while M and N are finitely generated and projective and mu not equal zero. One can see that M has a unit if and only in the composition of M and N. 
that the, the next equation is true and the map view with line is an isomorphism. Then the unit U coincides with mu with line inverse. Actually, in this case, we have some conditions. It's true. Proposition. Uh, let us formulate a proposition. Let M be a regular non algebra. There is a morphism M and M such that with respect to the decompositions, mu looks like as follows. Um, let us give a definition. We write M, R, L, and M instead of M, R, L plus M, L plus M, mu, where mu looks like uh, looks like this false and call such man algebra normal. Thus, every regular man algebra is isomorphic to a normal one. As above, we denote by M1 the algebra obtained from M by the formal attachment of unit. Let um, as from which lamb. I let A and C be two rings. P be a right C model, M be a right A model, and N be a right a left C model. C B model. Define the natural map V, uh, mapping P by F to the homomorphism. If P is projective and either P or M is finitely generated, P is an isomorphism. Let us formulate lemma. Let A be a unital ring, and uh, one is uh, the sum of uh, E1 and E2, where E1 and E2 are orthogonal idempotents. And we denote A i as follows, and A i uh, g as follows too. And identify A with the ring of matrices. Uh, let B, uh, let P be a progenerator of the category mod A11, then P uh, hash uh, would uh, be the next, is a progenerator of the category mod A, hence A mod is morphic to B mod, where B it is a dimorphisms. The ring B can be identified with the ring of matrices, where B11, B12, B21, B22 is uh, like follows. And let us formulate theorem. Let M be normal one algebra, C it is it endomorphisms, and P be a progenerator of the category of C. Then M is moneta equivalent of the normal man algebra, M. Uh, and uh, we have some proposition and remark where uh, is uh, some equations, as you can see. And let now R be the semi simple ring. Then R is the product where RK is matrices for some integers dk and some skew fields. So any man algebra based on R is a product of man algebras based on the simple algebra R K. All of them are regular, so can be supposed normal. And let us uh, formulate proposition. Let R be matrices, where F is a skew field, U be a simpler model, L is U R, M is U M, N is U N, the algebra M um, L L M N up to isomorphism only depends on R, M, N, and does not depend on D. In particular, it is isomorphic to M. The under F, F, R, F, M, F, L, we do not algebra M, F, F, R, F, M, F, L, by M, F, R, M, N. And let us formulate C or M. Let M is a product where F, K, R, S, Q, fields, then M is Morita equivalent to this product, and we denote the algebra M, F, 1, M, N, by M, F, N. It is the algebra of n plus 1 by n plus 1 matrices over f with the multiplication uh, a, b is equal to a mu b, where mu is the n plus n by n plus n matrix with 1 at the 1, 1 place and 0 else. In this section, we consider representations of finite dimensional regular one algebras over a field k with a semi simple base. According to the, to the theorem 111, such an algebra is Morita equivalent to a direct product M. 
over mk is equal to m of k, m k, m k, and of k is q fields. If m k and k is equal to zero, uh, then m is f k, and e is a direct factor of m one. So we can and will suppose that there are no such components in m. The algebra m k contains uh, in uh, an independent e k, which is the n k plus one by m k plus one matrix with one at the one one place, and is there uh, and zero elsewhere. And we have some. Uh, uh, conditions to uh, be true and choose an fk basis in each space ek m1 is zero and an fk basis in each space e0 m1 k like this basis and then we have elements from first uh, when we multiply to by elements of Second, we have zero for all for all k l i g, and if we multiplying elements from second of elements from first, we have zero if k not equal l. And uh, product of b k i on a k g is a basis of m k. For every M1 model V, set with K uh, is equal to a K V. For K uh, from 0 to S, it is a vector space over FK. The multiplication by A K I gives rise to a K linear map alpha K I. And the multiplication by B K G gives rise to a K linear map uh, uh, beta K I. Since we have some homomorphism, some more both alpha and beta can be considered as a matrix over fk of appropriate size. So V is defined by the set of maps or matrices alpha k i beta l g such that alpha k i beta l g is equal to zero for all k l i g. We present it by the diagram. A homomorphism phi is given by a set of fk maps. Phi k uh, where f zero is k such that that equation is equation is true. Uh, this means the following diagram is commutative. Uh, phi is an isomorphism if and only if so are all phi k. And we have that of the um, Then alpha k k i from the plus is equal to zero. Hence, alpha k i can be considered as a map, and we obtain a sum diagram with some conditions. Such diagram can be considered as a representation of the realization m omega of the valued graph gamma in the sense of Dalbert Ringel. Namely, the vertices of the graph gamma are plus, minus one, and so on to s. The k is dimension of k, the k plus some k, k, d. M k to k, g minus k, and k to k, and k and d i g is zero otherwise. The orientations or the orientation omega of the edge k plus is from k to plus, and that of the edge minus k is from minus to k. The modulation m of gamma is given by the algebra of k and f plus minus equal f k f b models. K M plus is equal M K F K and F plus uh, F K B models plus M K is equal M K. Such a representation of this realization is indeed given by a set of K vector space with K. F zero vector space F plus minus and the set of the near maps alpha with tilde K uh, uh, and beta with tilde L. The, their components are just alpha K I and beta L. G. Uh, let us relate CRM. Let rep plus m omega be the full subcategory of the category of the representations of m omega. So I said we have some sum. Let also m mod plus be the full subcategory of, mod, uh, of m of m mod consisting of such models with it. The sum equations is true, not by easy ideal of the category M plus consisting of all morphisms. Fit such that fk is equal to zero for k not zero, 
and such other uh, equations is true. Then m one by e is uh, isomorphic to rep plus m omega, and e uh, square is equal to zero. We will skip the remarks because we have not much time. It's provided in Dalton Ringel uh, papers that the representation type of M omega actually only depends on the valued graph itself. Namely, it is representation finite if and only if all its connected components are Dinkin graphs, and representation same if and only if all of them are Dinkin or Euclidean extended into Dinkin graphs and at least one Euclidean graph occurs. For the list of these graphs, see Dalvin Ringel paper. In all other cases, it is a representation file. Taking into account the construction of the valued graph gamma from the algebra M, we can establish the representation type of any finite dimensional man algebra with a semi-simple base. Actually, it only depends on the set of triples dk and k and k, where dk is dimension of k. We use the following notation for t. And for t, uh, we have some equations. Certainly, maybe r is equal to zero or r equals. And we uh, can uh, formulate the theorem. Uh, let m is uh, product and t is our uh, set, where dk is dimension of fk. Uh, then we have three uh, cases. M is representation finite if, if and only if t is uh, equal to zero union of t1, where we have uh, two conditions like this. M is representation same if and only if t is equal to zero uh, union t1, where t is some set for some error in decay, and we have three uh, cases for this. And Third uh, case, in all other cases, M is, re is representation wild. We applied the tenth result for representations of finite with matrix semi group. Recall Clifford and Patterson paper that such semi groups is given by a finite group G and a matrix mu of size P by Q with coefficients from the group G. The elements of M are Q by P matrices coefficients from G0 containing at most one non-zero element and the multiplication is defined by the rule. Is the sandwich matrix mu is regular? Uh, that means every column and every row of M contains a non-zero element. The semi-group M is zero simple, hence completely zero simple, and every finite zero simple semi-group is isomorphic to a risk matrix semi-group with a regular sandwich matrix. Uh, we always suppose that the matrix mu is not zero, otherwise mu is just a semi-group with zero multiplication. Um, and let k be a field, R is k, G, and mu is this. Obviously, k, M is our M on R, R, P, R, Q, and mu, where mu is considered as an element of matrix and is identified with R homomorphism. We support the characteristic K not divide order G, then R is semi simple, namely, let U1, U2, and so on, US be all reducible representations of G over K. And we have some condition. Uh, then R is some product where K is matrix, and the matrices, matrices is equal, denote by mu K the project, projection of mu onto uh, that set. And set RK uh, equal RK mu K. As mu not equal zero, also all mu K not equal zero, and the ma Aman algebra K M is record. Then uh, we have uh, we we can uh, formulate some coral corollary and remark, but we have so little time, so yeah, I will skip. And I uh, present you a theorem uh, where we have a finite risk matrix semi group, key fields such that the characteristic of key not divide order G. And we have set TM. And we have three uh, cases. Uh, first case is M is representation finite over the field K, if and only if we have either T is 1, 1, 1, or uh, order of G is. Uh, uh, less than three or equal three. Uh, M is representation theme over the field K if and only if uh, either T M is uh, two triples of uh, 
bonds or Tm is to one bond or uh, order G is equal four and Tm contains every only three bonds decay one zero or only three bonds decay zero one. And uh, and third is G is equal one and Tm is one two zero or one zero two and third cases in all other cases m is representation right over the field a i think it is all because my time is well thank you